aboard! All aboard! Every weekend in the summer and fall, people travel to Versailles to travel back in time. They climb aboard passenger cars at the Bluegrass Railroad Museum and ride on a line that has been in place since the late 1800s. In 1889, when this track was built, there were two ways to get to Lexington, on the train or on a horse. People don't realize there weren't any cars, trucks, buses, highways. So we try to teach as well as entertain out here. That's Executive Director John Penfield, who came here to help out 12 years ago and got hooked. He and about 25 other active volunteers often work on the railroad all the live long day as engineers, mechanics, and conductors. Very few of them have a railroading background. Every penny they take in goes back into the operation. Yeah, the good news is we own this track. The bad news is we own this track because we have to maintain it. The trains run on five and a half miles of track, rumbling past horse farms and rock walls before coming to a scenic dead end at Young's High Bridge, 283 feet above the Kentucky River. Tourists love the view from the overlook, right across from the Wild Turkey Distillery. That's the Longstone Rock Quarry down there? Okay. The volunteers are also tour guides and historians. On this day, 95 people came with a tour group from the Cincinnati area. The same company had organized a trip here earlier this summer. We loved it. We had 104 here about last month. People like the train rides, they like Kentucky. We come down to Kentucky more than we go anywhere else. There's also a museum at the depot with artifacts from the days when railroads helped build the nation. I think it puts us back in yesteryear. You, you see a lot of things that I haven't seen for a good many years, you know, and it, it, it's really neat. It's hard work keeping this operation on track, but John Penfield says the payoff came quickly for him the first time he saw the reactions of passengers. And watching the kids come off with smiles on their faces and the parents being happy, uh, you know, I realized right away that this was something special. Something special that keeps on rolling because 40 years ago, a group of dreamers said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. In Versailles, Marvin Bartlett with the spirit of the bluegrass.